in these problems we're finding the integral of some functions. And this is um, pretty much the same as finding the antiderivative. This notation here, this kind of long stretched out s and the dx here, says it, we want to take the integral of what's in the middle here, what's between those two. And if this is the derivative of a function, what's the function? For these polynomials, we're going to be applying that reverse power rule. So instead of uh, multiplying the power as a constant out front and then reducing the power by one, we're going to make that backwards. We're going to raise the power by one and then multiply out front by the reciprocal of that power. And we'll take it one piece at a time. So let's try the 2x to the fifth first. So we're going to raise the power by one. So that's x to the sixth. We've got our two here. And then we multiply by the reciprocal. So that's one sixth. And then we have minus and x to the fourth. That would be x to the fifth, raising the power and then multiplying by the reciprocal. So times one fifth. And then negative one. Well, negative one, um, you can think of negative one as negative one times x to the zero power. Anything uh, to the zero power is one. So negative one is x to the uh, is negative one times x to the zero power. When we raise the power there by one, what we're going to get is negative one times x, or just negative x. Let me uh, simplify a little bit here. So we've got one third x to the sixth minus one fifth x to the fifth minus x, and that is the integral of 2x to the fifth minus x to the fourth minus 1. Except we need a plus big C because any constant added on to this function would still give this as its derivative. All right, let's try one more. Now this one looks a little trickier. Uh, we've got two things multiplied by each other. How do we take the integral of that? Well, we don't have a handy product rule for integration, for taking integrals. So what I would suggest here is just simply multiply this out, and then you'll have a polynomial. That's not going to be too much work. And we can use this reverse power rule to take the integral of the polynomial. So let's go ahead and do that. 2x times 3x is 6x squared minus 8x minus 18x plus 24. And we're taking the integral of this. We'll simplify a little bit. 6x squared minus 26 x plus 24. And now let's go ahead and, and use our reverse power rule here. So we're going to raise the power here by 1 and then multiply by the reciprocal. So 1 third. And then raise the power by 1, multiply by the reciprocal, so that's 1 half. And raising the power by 1, we get 24x. And don't forget the constant. And then we can simplify a little bit. This is 2x cubed minus 13x squared plus 24x plus a constant. So that is a little bit of work with taking integrals of functions. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions off campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.